HBOT. Yeah, this is really fascinating because uh, for a while we knew that wounds repair or heal faster when you give them more oxygen. Because then, why? Uh, well, it's not not clear. It could be hormesis. Um, free radical generation could be that more oxygen in the tissues allows them to grow better. Um, those are all theories. But we know that it works. But then people started putting themselves in hyperbaric chambers. The, the military, certainly the Navy, have, have been doing this for a long time um, to prevent uh, the bends. But it's found to be quite therapeutic, particularly for neurological disorders, but increasingly for aging itself. And we should say what a hyperbaric chamber is. Right? The hyperbaric yeah. chamber is, is a room or sometimes just a little tube where the uh, pressure is increased. And when the pressure is increased, the amount of oxygen that you get when you breathe is increased. Right. You can go up a couple of uh, atmospheres or more and, and you, you supplement that with oxygen. You breathe in a bit more oxygen um, or pure oxygen. And uh, so I recently tried this, actually. I went out to L.A. Fortunately, unlike you, I'm not claustrophobic. I'm so glad I can't do this. I cannot do this. You probably can't. But it's, it's a glass cylinder, so you don't feel it. And I just watched Shit's Creek for a while. It was pretty cool, especially when I was high on oxygen. You said it was funnier when you... Uh, it certainly was funnier, but it might just be because uh, every time I watch it, it gets funnier. But, the, but it's really relaxing. I, I believe I was in there for about an hour and uh, it, it was, you know, you can meditate in there or you can fall asleep or watch TV. It's really a great experience. But that aside, what the science says is that it actually can reverse an aspect of aging, which is telomere shortening. The ends of the chromosomes, many of us will have, of you will have heard of this, like the ends of uh, the uh, shoelaces, the agalets they're called. If they wear out, uh, it actually leads to cellular senescence, these zombie cells. And this happens over time as we get older. And what we've been looking for, we scientists, for many years is a molecule or a treatment that makes them grow back again because that should help slow down aging and give us longer life. And that's what was reported last year from a group in Israel who I know well. I've been over there and checked out their giant chamber. And, and you there, actually got really wind good. of this before while they were working on it and you went to kind of like peek in on what they were doing. Yeah, I mean, this is one of the fortunate things about my job is that I get to hear about things before they're public and I get a sneak preview and I went over there and sat in their giant chamber which looks like a, the inside of a bus um, and with a mask you put on and they showed me their data actually it looks like a control room from Star Trek it's really high tech and but the data that they showed me in mice and in humans was really compelling it looked like at least in the mice that the, that those plaques and tangles in the brain of mice that were given Alzheimer's went away do you have little miniature hyperbaric chambers for the mice uh, we're building one because I'm going to use one in my lab uh, but they're not ready yet. But also what they were finding was that the humans that were put in there that had uh, dementia or Parkinson's were dramatically improved after a few sessions of this. And it's become a real craze throughout the US. Um, a lot of this is happening in LA where a lot of these trends start. Um, people are reporting remarkable benefits. Now, what we need are more studies like the one in Israel to actually measure things and and if possible, do a placebo control as well. But, but at least what we have right now are some studies, most of them fairly small in scale, but, but human studies, memory, improvements, uh, telomeres, T helper cells. Right, they go up as well. So that in cognitive performance, uh, there was six elderly patients suffering from memory loss. And in 2021, this new study came out and they all improved. And the really cool thing about this treatment, even though, look, like not everybody has access to a hyperbaric chamber, obviously, but it is a pretty easy intervention. And it's easy to treat people this way. It's easy to test people in this way. Um, so and now we works. have the clocks. We have the clocks we can test if, if aging actually goes backwards. That would be a good experiment is to take people who have done seven or eight, ten bouts of this treatment before and after and see if their biological age went backwards. So it's still early. It seems like these things are working across a variety of ways that we can measure aging and the problems of aging. If this is working, why is it working? Yeah. Well, we, we don't know for sure, but one of the theories is that it's working similar to exercise. So hypoxia, the low oxygen when you go for a run, what it's doing is turning on this HIF1-alpha protein that I talked about earlier, uh, and that uh, helps promote health in the body. The other thing that happens with exercise is the free radical generation that gives you a little bit of mitohormesis. It looks very much like hyperoxia, hyperbaric chamber treatment, does the very similar thing. 
you get a production of these free radicals. And that stimulates also a mitohormesis response that gives you very similar benefits to low oxygen. Um, there's one theory that I have is that when you come down from the high levels of oxygen, it stimulate, simulates hypoxia, like you're running as you come down from high levels to low levels. So it's not so much the oxygen, the like explosion of oxygen that you're getting, but it's like once you like temporarily get used to that, then you come off of it's it. It's the differential. And that fits with the new findings, which is going up once and coming down once is not as good as going up and down and up and down within a treatment. Before we move away from uh, hyperbaric uh, oxygen treatment, uh, I know you're most familiar with this Israeli study. Let's talk about the protocol on that one. Yeah, they took 30 people and put them in their large chamber, the one that I visited, and they did 60 daily sessions of 90 minutes, five of those per week, and had a look at the number of senescent cells in the bloodstream before and after and telomere length. And what they found remarkably was that those aspects of aging were reversed. They saw uh, impacts on senescent cells too. They did. They looked at in the immune system, looking at, looking at these immune cells. You can measure senescence. You can stain them blue, uh, which is bright blue when you get older. And they found that there, were, there was a dramatic reduction in the number of those senescent cytotoxic T cells, as, as they're called. Okay, so 60 sessions, 90 minutes. This is not something anybody, most people can do every day right now. This is not going to be a common part of people's longevity regimens anytime soon? Well, there are uh, a number of centers that are run by doctors uh, in major cities. It'll become more popular. It's growing rapidly. Um, but I think it's a great way in the future for people to mimic exercise. Um, I wouldn't say don't exercise, right? But it's it's an interesting idea that you can lie down, watch TV, go to sleep, and get your, your run in uh, by mimicking hypoxia, but in this case with high levels of oxygen in your body for a short period of time.